This story I also want to tell you very, very briefly. Uh, I was actually sitting next to a stream, you know, camouflaged by the sound of the stream, the water, and sitting amongst the rocks and waiting for something to come down and drink. And, and this female came down and I was sitting there taking pictures of her with a big lens. And I like the perspective. It's like in her realm. I'm not on a platform, I'm not in a Jeep. I'm like, I'm there with her. And it felt really good until she started walking towards me. <laughs> um, because, you know, when, li when, when they see you and they can, they can evaluate your presence, they can think, okay, what's that? Okay, not, not good, or this is interesting. Then you know how to deal with it. But she was just walking towards me like, <laughs> closer and closer and closer, and then all of a sudden you feel very small. <laughs> it's, a, it's a unique, unique experience in that way, because all of a sudden, I never wear guns when I work, or uh, otherwise, <laughs> I never wear guns. So I was, <laughs> I was sitting there with my lens, uh, and actually I was actually half lying down with my lens, and she came closer and closer, and all of a sudden I realized I need to make her aware that I'm, that I'm in front of her. So I moved the lens ever so slightly, just panned the lens. She stopped, and she was like scrutinized. You could see that her radar was like scanning me up and down, you know, it's like, and it's not, it's an Im amazing sensation that goes through your body, because all of a sudden you are prey. <laughs> it's fantastic, it's really interesting. But <laughs> what, what, what happened then was that I, you know, you, then you start to think, what can I do about this? <laughs> can I run? No. Even if I'm Usain Bolt, I'm like a snail. But at the same time, she started crawling towards me in a sort of a attack slash interest mode with, you know, just the shoulder blades sticking up, you know, like cats. So I just determined to be completely still. I was like this with my camera. And she came closer and closer. And when she was about 15 feet away, she stopped. And then she was like puzzled. Who is this guy? What is this? I'm full. She has probably eaten a lot because she was not apparently interested in me. Uh, so she just rolled over like this. And ah, oh, that was nice. And then she's like up with her legs. <laughs> and and I, didn't, I didn't do anything because I was completely... I, I felt that this, this is a balance that's so delicate. So if I move, if I do anything, she must just go for me and I'm toast. So I was lying there like this. But then all of a sudden, when she rolled over and started to look at me upside down, <laughs> then, then I backed up a little bit so I could focus because she was too close <laughs> for the focus so I can take this photograph. <clears throat> and, and to me, this was a very, um, <laughs> it was a special moment. Um, <laughs> But, but in many ways, I mean, it was, a, honestly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm sort of an emotional person. I'm a v sort of vulnerable person in many ways. Uh, I don't, for example, think that to do what I do, you need to be sort of a Tarzan jungle gym. Uh, because you have to be the contrary. You have to be soft, hopefully intelligent. You have to read the environment, and you have to be modest. Otherwise, I would have been eaten, I think, a long time ago. But anyway... <laughs> So I was there and I felt emotional. I felt that this, this animal gives me this, this experience that's both damn scary, honestly, but at the same time, truly, truly beautiful. And she's like calling for, this is obviously some kind of an anthropocentric twist to it that has nothing with reality to do. But you know, your mind play games and I felt she's calling for my help. Take a picture and save our species. We have 300 left. And it was like, oh. And then she flipped up, she stood, and she walked into the, to the, to into the forest. And I was like, um, I felt blessed. <laughs>